You heard it here first, you guys. Ding, ding, ding. The results are in. Adana wants to be in. You and I, when I do a lie. If I What's up, you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and do one thing for me right now, and that is subscribe hit that notification bell as well so that you know exactly when a new video is coming out and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA I am going to be talking about what kind of PA I am going to be or I would like to be you guys have been asking me this often quite often and you know I have a better idea of what I want to do and what area I want to go into now that I am six months into my clinical year is freaking crazy you guys I cannot believe it but anyways so what kind of PA do I want to be um so I still don't know you guys I, I know it's kind of like tricky you know like I tricked you ha huh? sorry I'm, I'm sorry you guys I still don't completely know but I do have a better idea so after going through these clinical rotations this far I have been thinking to myself like what exactly do I want to do and um, it's hard because there are so many areas that you can go into as a PA. And then also there are so many different kind of um, hours that you can work. Um, as I told you guys, you know, I've done pretty much like all of them, I guess you could say so far. I've done four tens, I've done three twelves, I've done 24 hour shifts, I did your, you know, five, eight hour shifts. So it's, it's been interesting trying to figure that out, especially with the life that I want to live in the future um, and how much I want to see my kids in the future um, because, and how much I want to see my husband because like I actually, you know, like, like him. I actually like hanging out with him and I like my family, so I want to spend time with them. So it's, it's important for me to have that time to myself. And I've realized that I kind of really like these 24 hour shifts. They're really cool. If I'm doing only, I'm only working th six to eight times in a month period, like that's amazing to me. I can go on vacations. I can just do things and not have to do PTO time. 312s are a little bit harder because you're like super tired. Like, especially if you're working these 312s like three days in a row. It's tiring and that's kind of what you want to do because you want like a four day weekend which really you still only have a three day weekend because that last day you're spent catching up. But um, for me, um, I understand that I, I kind of want to do that. And for that, you have to find specific like inpatient jobs. So um, the trauma PAs do that. Um, some ICU PAs do it at different hospitals and then OBGYN PAs do it and I guess maybe like some of the other surgical specialties do that as well. So that's interesting. Um, I've always wanted to do women's health uh, and, and go into like OBGYN PA and be that specialty but guys I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to be like a master of one particular trade and then I kind of forget everything that I spent learning for the past two and some change years of PA school, or if I want to be a master, like a jack of all trades, but a master of none, you know? And that's kind of like the the kind of balancing act that you have to do. So like, do I want to be an urgent care or emergency medicine PA where I know a lot about like, every, like I know a good, a little bit about everything, but I don't know a lot about like one thing, one particular area, because seeing specialists Seeing these people that are in this particular specialties talk about their area, it's amazing because they're so knowledgeable and they just sound so smart and they are because they have to know everything that they could possibly know about that particular area and it's really cool to see that. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to like be so super specialized right out of the bat. So what I've been thinking is that I probably want to have like two jobs, which I know it's kind of sounds like an oxymoron that I want to spend a lot of time with my family, but right out of PA school, I want to have two jobs. But how I was see envisioning this um, is that I want to be able to do 24-hour uh, shifts, but at the same time have a job like at an urgent care because I used to work at one. So 
at, and at that particular, go back to that urgent care and urgent care in the area that allows me to do PRN shifts, shifts that I can just pick up. So that I'm able to hone in on my specialty skills, but at the same time, moonlight at the urgent care so that I can keep my mind right and fresh and keep like, you know, doing more, learning more as, as I come and see these different cases come through. So that is my, my thing. I think I want to be an OBGYN PA, but I'll also want to work at an urgent care. That's me, Adana, halfway through my clinical years, what I want to do as I graduate. I don't know if that is going to change in the, the next six months um, of clinical experience, but um, I'm on my rotations, but we'll see, that's where I'm at right now. So you've heard it here first, you guys. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. The results are in. Adana wants to be an OBGYN PA in Moonlight and an Urgent Care. I don't know if that's what's gonna happen, but we'll see. Let's stay posted, okay? All right, so that is it, you guys. If you have any other questions for me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, following me on this journey. Like, not just following me, but being a part of this journey with me. You guys, we have been in this thing for a year and like six months. We're, we're going strong. We're doing good. Um, and I can't wait for the rest of these. Um, how many months do I have? I think I have eight more months left, um, including like my summative summer months. So I can't wait to share those experiences with you. I love you guys. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.